Guillaume said Mark Yeager, Mark Ingber, Ray Madoff, Norman Starkey, Wendell Reynolds, and Mike Rinder. I report, and with witnesses on every single occasion, all of them were either slapped, punched, kicked, choked, grabbed by the neck, thrown to the floor, or tackled into furniture by none other than Marty Rathbun. Every single one of them. Okay? So you with just witnesses. need to change the names. So you just have to change the names. Okay? Slapped, punched, kicked, choked, grabbed by the neck, thrown to the floor, or tackled into furniture. Gilm punched and tackled into furniture. Mark Yeager punched. Mark Ingberg tackled into furniture. Ray Midoff punched. Norman Starkey slapped multiple times, punched multiple times, kicked multiple times, thrown to the floor multiple times, and tackled into furniture multiple times. Wendell Reynolds tackled into furniture. And the one person who was attacked more than any of them, and more viciously than any of them, by Marty Rathbone, and more frequently over a longer period of time than by any of them, was Mike Rinder, who was slapped, punched, kicked, choked, grabbed by the neck, thrown to the floor, and tackled into furniture. The primary incident of which, which was witnessed by Guillaume, Mark, both Marks, Ray, Norman. not by, no, Norman didn't, Norman wasn't there, um, Wendell Reynolds, and a number of others, and it is the most famous incident, and it is an incident that occurred in January of 2004, in the room that you guys keep describing that these meetings occur, in the CMO Wimp building, or you guys call it the double wide trailers, was an incident where, inexplicably, out of nowhere, no forewarning, Marty Rathbun leapt on to Mike Rinder, tackled him to the ground, straddled him at the chest, grabbed him at the throat, choked him while banging his head into the floor, screaming at him, asking him a question repeatedly, to the point that he was turning purple and requiring him to be peeled off of Mike by five grown men, none of whom are shorter than six feet tall, some of whom are as much as six foot four, at which point they pried Marty off of Mike. Mike went outside, and uh, and then another gentleman, who also very much would like to talk to you, then uh, just shortly thereafter saw Marty go walking by muttering something about Mike, thought it was kind of strange, followed Marty outside, at which point Marty then found Mike again, threw Mike to the ground, punched him repeatedly. This individual pulled Marty off of Mike, Mike stood up and told Marty to stop. Marty was winding up to punch Mike again in the kidneys this time, and this individual threw his arms around Marty because he thought around Mike, uh, around Mike because he thought Marty was going to punch him in the kidneys. Judging by the windup, was worried about it. He happened to be wearing a, a titanium watch, and Marty's blow connected with his watch because his arms were wrapped around Mike, and the blow snapped the watch strap in half. At which point, he pulled Mike away, who was bleeding from his ear um, and had contusions around his head, and took him off to get him medical attention. And that was the last time Marty Rathbone saw Mike Rinder in the sewer. We're talking about 50, about 50 instances of violence on 22 people. Only reason I'm using those numbers is, is, that, we've, is, is that those are all where the person themselves can state that it occurred, and there were witnesses to it, multiple witnesses. Okay. And that is why I bring it up. The point is, is, is that if, if you want to get into why and how and so on and so forth, sure, we can get into the time track and we can get into all of this. I'm saying, here's the thing. If you came to me and said we were talking to Marty Rathbun and, and he's left the church and he's talking about some of his disagreements and so on and so forth, and he never brought up anything about physical violence, I never said anything about David Miscavige beating this person, that person, whatever, I wouldn't bring it up. I wouldn't. Even though I knew it would annihilate his credibility, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. But he's the one who's saying that Dave Miscavige beat these people, and he's saying that Dave Miscavige beat the exact same people that he beat. And that's what pisses me off. Because this guy is a fucking lunatic, and I don't have to explain how or why he became one, or how it was allowable. The fact is, is he's saying Dave Miscavige did what he did. Not once, not twice, but 50 times to 22 people where the people are still around and they can attest to it and there are witnesses to it. And the instances that you're saying that Mr. Miscavige engaged in aren't that way. And you're saying 75 to 100, but it isn't true. And now I'm getting a little angry. Am I angry? 
at you? Not necessarily, but I'm goddamn pissed at Marty Rathbun because he knows that he was the reign of terror, the whole track prison warden, and the lunatic because he admitted it to it. He admitted to it, and he knew, and it was part of his downfall. And I think that the individuals that were attacked by him have the right to talk to you about it. I'm just and I think that the individuals that, you, that he's saying Mr. Miscavige attacked have a right to it because factually, every single person on that list that you sent me that fax of, I have affidavits from them stating that they were never beat by Mr. Miscavige. So that's the problem with this thing. And when I, when, I, when I came at you and I said that we had things that we wanted fact-checked, that, that, that you know, there were a few things that you were saying that Marty was going to fact-check or there was going to be fact-checked, these are the things that I'm talking about, okay? Because they bear fact-checking. Because bottom line, the problem is, is we can drop down into this minutia, but we're talking about the ecclesiastical leader of the Scientology religion. Okay? And it's a bigger picture than that here. And for Marty Rathman, Amy Scobie, or Tom DeVock to leave and tell their tales of woe and fall into the category exactly like so many have before. Jesse Prince, Vicki Asnoran, Larry Wallershine, Robert Vaughn Young, Stacey Young, all of them, the same allegations, saying the same things, in some cases things far more horrible. And every time Mr. Miscavige has been vindicated, as has the church. And the thing is, is they have become what they detested. And they have become what they fought for so long. And that is the truth of it. All right. uh, looking into her full writing clear our factors, that kind of thing. Absolutely false. Never happened. Never happened. He never did. So this it's a total lie. Okay. Never did. Never did. Never, did. never, did. never wrote anything in full. He can't remember the last time he wrote something in somebody's yeah, I'm sure he couldn't remember the last time he wrote something in somebody's folder. He was, you know, he was an auditor. It was his first post in the Sea Org. <coughs> he doesn't see us or he didn't, didn't know of. Did he didn't know, know of Lisa McPherson? Um, do you know? Oh, I, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't ask him. I. I that's one thing I do know. Okay. Like, I, I. I. I didn't. I didn't take the, these allegations and go and talk to Dave. Okay. About them. I, I'm, I'm just not going to do that.